think it did go out. Some guys in your room were saying it, it's, it can't just be one guy to, to kind of step up. It's got to be a lot of us all of us. Do you feel like the last two games anyway, that's what happened? It's really been a group effort. I think every guy's elevated their game to a level that they need to in order for us to have success, not only uh, individually but collectively, and you see the results. Yeah, three young centers and have done a really good job the last two games. All three of them, Heedle, Howden, and Leas, have really played well. And Strom, obviously, we've talked about Strom having a good start to his season. But you know, you put those three guys in, and they've handed an awful lot of responsibility uh, against two really good hockey teams, and respond the way they have is a great sign. Both those guys come and they work hard every day. They play with an enthusiasm. They're very coachable. Two guys that obviously have had a great pedigree. And as we've talked about with Fox, the question was going to be how quickly was he going to be able to adapt from a skating standpoint, a competitive standpoint. And that was easy. And the thing I love about Hayek, he's gotten better and better from day one this season. And obviously, he had that stretch last year. We played five really good games. and. I just love the confidence that he's playing with. He's assertive. Whatever he's doing, he's doing it quickly and with, you know, with conviction. And you know, he can skate so well. He's been physical, and he's done a great job getting of it, getting us out of our end. Was, it, was that just for Hayek, just to get comfortable, and then you know, his abilities kind of came out? Yeah, I think so. I think a lot of times guys want to please people so badly. You know, he gets here, he wants to do so well for his teammates, for the coaches, for the organization, and. You know, sometimes that can be a little bit too much of a burden. And, you know, once I think he got over that and just started playing, I think you see the progression that he's made. Was, have you noticed a difference in him since, you know, since Phil's come back and he has someone, another Czech guy? I think he was trajecting that way anyway. I don't think Phil coming here has helped him other than refresh his language. So. What's, uh, what is Mika's, Mika's uh, status at the moment? Another good day today, so still day to day and making progress. Was there, uh, was there really a, ch a chance that he could have gone tonight, or? or yeah, I, didn't, I don't think so. So, same drill for Tuesday. Same drill for Tuesday. We'll see. You perceive a higher confidence with Georgia these last few games, and is, it, is this the beginning of the maybe changing of the guard? No, I don't. I don't think that. I think Georgie's play last year was the turning point for him. We've got two really good goalies. Hank and I talked yesterday. I mean, he understands. He see how what's happened the last three games. This has nothing to do with Hank. Hank is someone we know we're going to ride heavily, and he's going to play a lot of hockey for us. And you know, this is just more circumstantial than anything. And as Hank and I talked about, Hank's going to have the games Georgie's having. He's going to play three in a row or four in a row. And this is all part of the big picture managing the amount of games Hank's going to play. And I know it may be a big deal. He hasn't played three in a row. But when the dust settles and 82 games finishes, Hank's going to play a lot of hockey for us. What's the plan for Stoll moving forward? Same lineup tonight. Is there anything he has to do in particular to get back in for Wednesday? Or? He's going to get in. And I'm not just saying this because of you know we need him. And again, circumstances haven't allowed him to get back in. The plan wasn't to have him sit three, that's for sure. But he's going to get back in. How is Ryan taking How has he handled it? You know, how has he handled that? He's played well. Ryan's done a good job. He's done a really good job. He's doing the things that he's going to need to do to be successful in this league. With Stahl, if I can go back to that, why does he need to get back in? I mean, if you, if, if you have six guys right now that are playing well, why is there a need to get Mark back in? Because he's a good defenseman, he's a big piece of what we have here this year. You know, he's a guy that's influential in the locker room. He's a good player, and you know the way things happened. He happened to be the guy that come out after the Bruins game, and we're just in this situation. But we're going to need him. With Mark, there, you have right now seven healthy defensemen. Is there <clears throat> any plan to, I don't know, rotate them the same way you would rotate your goalies, maybe, or no. is it just? Six best play. Did you ever go seven? I prefer to stay away from seven. Why don't you have seven in the lineup right now? <laughs> <laughs> <From> Smitty? <laughs> Smitty's a forward now. <laughs> Masquerading as a defenseman on the penalty kill every now and then. Speaking of the penalty kill, I mean, is, is, 
with that unit, um, it's had ups and downs. I mean, is that just going to be the way it's going to be, or do you think you can find some level of consistency where you're going to be a good unit also? I think we're going to be a good unit. I think we had two bad games this year killing our penalty. You know, and I know we went one for five the other night. I mean, that's going to happen, but I mean, I think we're going to have a good penalty kill unit. I mean, we're young and we're you know still putting guys in roles, and but I, I think we, you know. Overall, I know we're in the middle of the pack penalty kill wise, but I, I think we have a good penalty kill game. We've had two bad games on the penalty kill. And that's on that third period, the, those three you were missing three penalty kills, right? Yeah, and yeah, and we and we killed all three of them. Yeah. Killed all three of them. Good morning, skates, because uh, you're winning, or you just feel like <laughs> yeah, that, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Well, well, we didn't have one against Nashville, so we might need to throw that theory out the window. You didn't have one against Boston. Yeah, how'd that work out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>